What's up, y'all? Welcome to season one, episode seven. I'm excited about this episode, man. How you doing, by the way? Oh man, I'm blessed. Always, you know the vibe. I do. What's the vibe? Blessed. Blessed. Yeah. Nah. Okay. You a little red today. Did you go out last you night? You know what? I'm always going out, man. You know what? Sometimes you know it's just a little hot in here. Okay. Don't be hiding your stories from me because I'll be watching. You was turning up. What was you doing out at four in the morning, knowing we had a podcast today? <laughs> Oh, am I snitching? Well, hey. <laughs> hey, if you, hey, if you listening, no, hey, if, if it's Shorty's like, listening, hey, he was out at that. No, I'm that. snitching. I'm snitching. John was out at four in the morning. You get, did you tell your girl? Man, I don't got a girl. Oh, okay. Okay. Good answer. Okay. Well, let's get into the podcast. We're going to start off with our sponsors. Uh, First sponsor. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to be one of them podcasts with this dude, man. All right. Go, go, go. All right. First... <laughs> you good? I'm good. Okay. I ain't never taking you to a comedy club, by the way, because you're just going to be laughing. No one's going to be gonna standing be, up there. I'm going to be front row sitting and you'll be like, damn, that's John. You're going to be front row. Okay. So you get in the back. That's what you're telling me? Always. Because I'm in the middle. How are you in the front? I'm in, in the middle. middle. I'm in the middle row, man. You're be a middle man, bro. Man, go Kevin Hart and Dave Chappelle tickets. Have you front seen them row. prices? You in the front row? All day. Okay, then. VIP. Okay, then I need, to, I need to get on that neutral sponsor. Speaking <laughs> of neutral. Shout out to Neutral Vodka Seltzer, our sponsor for today's episode and our official sponsor for the Chef Table podcast. And we want to shout out my personal favorite sponsor, man. I love these dudes. Y'all know I'm a sneakerhead, man. Tilt, Tilt. My boy, Tilt, the twins, man. The Inglewood location is my spot. I like the location at the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you can get in, you can get in there in and out, pause in an hour. You don't got to pay for parking. And uh, I think they got another one in L.A. Don't quote me on the one. But, you know, I'll put the descriptions in the video and on Instagram when I post anything. I'll tag them. Make sure you follow Tilt for all your shoe needs, all your merch, all that type of stuff. And Neutral Vodka, if you're trying to get turned, the holiday flavor is cranberry, right? They got the lemonade ones. I'm digging those, man. They, they kind of fire. I'm sipping on mm-hmm. one right now. Um, Let's get right into it, man. L.A. legend right now, man. I was just telling him off air. I said, man, you know what, man? If I need to know what's going on in L.A., mm-hmm. I go to his page right away. This dude covers everything, man. He covers media, entertainment, food. He covers traffic. He's covering who's dating who. Who's He's covering who's fighting where. He's covering people not paying their child support in L.A. <laughs> he's covering baby mamas. He's covering baby daddies. Oh, I mean, the dude man. covers everything in L.A., bro. I don't even need to watch the news no more, man. I just kick in the suburban L.A. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the man, Scotty Yo. from Suburban LA. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Is it is it oh, am I a narcissist for clapping for myself? Can yeah, I do that? Bit, a little bit, man. You clap for yourself, man. You know what you man? Give I'm, I'm glad to be here. I appreciate it, man. I'm honored. I'm blessed. Uh and I appreciate it, man. It's big time. Okay, you fit right in, man, because John yeah. clap up for himself for no reason. So you, you fit right in. Yeah, you gotta big it up for yourself, man. Yeah. Okay, you Scotty, know? man. The people are probably that, you know. <laughs> Our our podcast is definitely culinary based. You know, yeah. I'm in the chef industry. John's in the chef industry. You know, we both are chefs. So people are a little confused why we got you on. So I'm explaining why we have Scotty on. Scotty is when it comes to LA man and food. Scotty, I think man in the suburban LA brand, I just think that they are LA right now. And this is no diss to anybody, any other media, but for me personally, suburban LA. I'm saying it right, right? Yeah, absolutely. suburban LA. They are LA media, and that's just how I feel. So that's why we brought him on. He is going to cover the ground for the consumer point of view. You know, you guys have heard for the last six episodes from chefs, food truck owners, business owners, all of us that are in the industry. But now we get to talk to somebody who's on the other side and get their point of view. So I think this episode is going to be fire. Uh, Scotty told me off camera, man, he ain't holding back. If he says something is trash, it is what it is. If you don't like him, DM him. Um, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say. Well, he, no, no, we're not gonna put that out there because he do go live a lot. So he didn't say that. I said that. Um. All right. Well, let's get right into it, man. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm just getting straight to it, Scotty. I see this on social media all the Uh-oh. time, and you already know where I'm going. It's like they have an obsession with this, man. Anytime you post anything, bro, you know you yeah, can just click the comments. You're gonna see it at least six or seven times. Mm. Yep. I know where you're going, Scotty. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Born in Inglewood, Daniel Freeman. Grew up in Inglewood. Um, I had a LA. I had a LA upbringing, man. But it's funny because the whole Scotty's not from LA narrative. Like I started that. It started for me. You know, I was looking at ways of how to brand myself. Um, a dude on Twitter actually found my personal profile. 
and posted it up and was like, yo, who is this dude? I ain't never seen him. And in LA, that's big. Like, if we don't yeah. know, if we ain't never seen you, somehow yeah. you're not you from know, the city. Somehow, you know, some way. So, um, you know, I, I knew that it was a talking point and like in the media, connect, uh, creating narratives is a big thing. So I screenshotted this post and I literally posted, I was like, yo, at, with my real name, at yeah. Scotty is not from LA. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's stuck. And now, like, everywhere I go, I got to answer this question. But I'm definitely from L.A., man. I grew up um, Inglewood a little bit. Grew up on 80th and uh, Budlong. Yeah. So oh, I was okay. taking a bus down Normandy, bus down Normandy every day. Okay. Um, I'm an L.A. baby, man. Okay. Yeah. Despite what they say. Yeah. You know? so, okay, <laughs> so, they okay say. so now, they, man, every time I told somebody you was coming on, hey, ask him where he's from. I'm like, damn, this is, yo, so and it's, and it's you're not a genius. You're a genius for that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Because <laughs> uh, now I got to deal with it. It's crazy because yeah. dudes will come up to me like that's really not from L.A. And they'll uh, be like, I'm from New York, bro. I rock with you. But are you from L.A.? Like, where are you from? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm really from the city, bro. It'll probably never go away at this point, which is cold. But, no, but I mean, that's that's kind of been a brand. Like, yeah. That's my stuff. Yeah. That, that, I, I never thought that that would be my, like, you know, everybody's known for yeah. something. Like, that's just my thing. Like, you, that guy that's not from L.A. that runs yeah. the page. But I'll take it, you know, as long as they talk. Yeah. Who runs the page? Um, It's a team of us. Okay. It's a team of us. So it's like we got maybe like four or five people that's logged in. Okay. Um, Shout out to them, though, because the reason I asked is because the way you guys run the page and the content is genius. Man. It's yeah. genius, man. Yeah. Like you you and my algorithm, everyone's algorithm, because like you guys just stay on top of everything, up to date on everything. And I kind of like what you guys been doing. Instead of posting the article, you got an article with like a, a video in it now. Like, yeah, yeah. so I, I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah, it yeah. puts us more in touch with the viewers. Yeah. Cause to be totally honest, man, I wouldn't know. I mean, I wouldn't know who to look for if he didn't start showing his face more. I'm like, is that Scotty? Yeah, that's simple. So now we know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the crazy thing is now, like, even us being on this podcast, like, you know, the, the team that's here, obviously, the, the viewers yeah. won't see, but the team that's with me. Shout them out. Yeah, Wendell that's over there, Jamil, got Asia here. Um, love them to death. Um, I, you got a huge shout out to Wendell because okay. he was like, nah, you got to become the guy now. Now it's yeah. time to get in front of the cameras. And I think that has done yeah. wonders for the brand. Yeah. Um, and it's going to help us prepare uh, to the next level this next this upcoming yeah, no year. Doubt. So we're excited. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Showing the face is a big part for us. Okay. I used to blur my face. Like the OGs of the page. Yeah. Remember, I, I used to literally every photo, I'd blur my face. And then at some point, I end up showing my face. And, you know, it's been a Did journey. Did you not want, like, your, your, your identity being put out there like that? Just like, nah, just bro. Like, right. I was literally just thinking through, like, yo, how do I create buzz? So the idea was, like, I'm going to just flex on everybody uh -huh. hard as shit. Yeah. And I'm going to just blur my face so everybody be like, yo, who's this Who dude that? that's yeah, blurring his that? face that's <laughs> yeah. pulling up? We did like, that for a little bit, and it, it didn't hit like I wanted it to. Um, and it was just about, like, getting simple and, like, just get in front of the camera, bro. You, you ain't you got to overdo it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So end up working. I want to ask you this personally. Do you look at all the comments, bro? Because just how I am, man, I'm, I'm one of those people, man. I'll put something out there and like, I'm like, I don't want to look at the cameras. I mean, not the cameras, sorry. I don't want to yeah, look at the comments. comments. I think I put a TikTok video up and they was going in on me. Crazy. Because I think I took too long to answer the question. Bro, they was going <laughs> in. They was going in on me, man. So I'm hey, like, damn. I'm like. Once you start replying to the comments and they No, I don't reply. Replying. I don't even want to look at them, bro. I'd be hey, like, I, I, don't got, yeah. I don't got the heart to be in that position oh. to look at the comments, bro, because you know the you internet is ruthless. Right. The reason Don't why I'm asking, right. the reason why I'm asking, uh, there's a particular post I want to ask you, is where is Scotty? What part of LA was Scotty be from? Did you go down and look at the comments? Yeah, I was in there, but it was killing me. It I was, was I killing was, you. Anyone? I'll be honest. The ones that are like <laughs> pertaining to me, I'll go through them sometimes, but. I'm like in the space now where I'm getting out of it. In the beginning, yeah, yeah, I was like all in. I used to respond to him, but you can't beat it, bro. Can't you can't it. beat it. Nah. There's nothing you can. It's too many of them. Uh, it's like yeah, one versus yeah. thousands. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm always watching. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll see little things and then, you know, I'll be like, all right, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'll be watching. They kill me in the comments all the time. Though, and, okay, so. keep it real. Keep it real. You be hitting that block button? Yeah, what? I blocked somebody today. <laughs> what? What? I know, I blocked, Bro, that's I my favorite like thing to do. I try to like, okay, hey. I'm glad you said that. Because I'll try to like restrict people. You know, you can yeah. restrict people so they, and I'll go like approve mm -hmm. their comments or whatever. But if it's somebody I know, they say something spicy, I'm blocking the hell out of you. Like this dude today, we posted some, I was like a meanwhile in Compton. And then he added my personal and was like, this ain't Compton, unfollowing. It's like, nigga, block, block the hell okay. out of him, bro. I love blocking people. It's my favorite. Especially because I know that we the source. Mm. I block people yep. so quick. But I can hear, I can see my PR person over here. I need to stop blocking people. That's not, that's not nice. I mean, you just let them, you let them see it and <laughs> let them hate. See, now I'm listening to him and I'm thinking as a chef point of view, no. if he ever opened up a restaurant, 
he gonna be blocking reservations. You say anything on Yelp, he you call and make a reservation and block. He block. Because he block. Reservation not, block. Seven thirty reservation block. Oh, you not, said you said I'm not block, from LA. Block block block, block. 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 You're not conducive to the community at, at a certain point. Like uh, people on the internet are just reckless, bro. Like they say some pretty mean things, and so I try to I'll try to weed those ones out. Yeah, they, you know? don't, they don't hold Especially back. as a chef, you know, you create yeah. a dish. Yeah. You know what I mean? For me, it's like we create this content. This came from the heart mm -hmm. and then you come and say something it's like uh, you kind of take it personal in a way um i'm trying to grow out of that but I, that black button the best thing they uh, ever did you know what i mean i love it i feel like it's always going to be there yeah the, what the the, the block no 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 like like when people just the trolls oh yeah, yeah, yeah plenty trolls, of people yeah. like this is always going to come back come back and back yeah, like, especially, you, you know how many people you know how many people got it. burner accounts just to go on social media and, and hate and, and hate, hate. yeah, yeah. It, it's really be the burner accounts yeah. but i so there's a ronnie five he's a, a a huge sneaker designer he owns kith um the ronnie sneaker, five five ronnie five shout yeah. out to ronnie five yeah, he owns kith which is a huge like sneaker apparel uh mm -hmm. joint joint and one day he posted some i was younger too and i was like 60 bucks for a shirt and this i was younger i, mm -hmm. I said yeah. something what the hell? he blocked me and i remember oh. how that <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I remember how that felt and i was yeah. like no like I, I didn't mean it uh -huh. so now i like to hit i know i feel like I got that power now, yeah. so I know how that's gonna feel. Block, you know, I love it. I love it. I genuinely love yeah. it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Look, I'm not. I'm not where you at yet. Where I gotta block people, but I think I'm gonna block somebody tonight just to be like, yeah, it does. Just, give, just give it to them. Yeah, they yeah. deserve it. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Hey, you know what? Listen, if y'all listening, man, y'all be careful, man, because I'm going on the IG tonight and I'm blocking gonna five block people. For no reason. Yeah. Be somebody I'm that we put gonna, a good we gonna block like, five <laughs> random people. I just want to feel. I want to feel like Scotty. I will. <laughs> I will say though, because like I'll block people, or sometimes like I go leave us. Like if they give me a spicy comment. Comment and I got uh, time. I, yeah. I give you a spicy comment back. Yeah. I'd be like, I probably shouldn't do this because I don't know who is gonna yeah. be where at any point and come up to me like, yo, hey, you you block. Yeah. So I try to like, you know, but I already got the excuse for that. Like if I block or, or, or clap back and they roll up on me, like, hey man, my wife runs the page, man. I didn't oh, see a cold dude. Right? Yeah, that's a cold <laughs> dude. Nah, you can't that's a cold dude. Yeah, my wife <laughs> like, nah, because nah, he'd be that. like, nah, he because he, 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 he <laughs> the temperature changed. He'd be like, Oh, okay. Yeah, it ain't me. But I mean, dudes do think they, or do whoever think they can just come say whatever, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I, maybe it's the LA thing. I've been ran down on a, like I was at the Lamert Park thing one time. Somebody ran down and was like, you ain't tough now. Like, so it be, it'd be tricky, man. You Most gotta, of the time though, bro, like people that be talking on the internet, like just, they just be talking out their ass. You think so? Yeah. I never take it. You know what I mean? Cause like, like, and then you see them in person or you like, you don't even know these people. That's and true. These people just like, that's true. All day. It's a dude. <sighs> oh man. We Maybe say we say, we say names on the podcast. No, yeah, see, yeah. see, see, you might need another shot before I go. But it's a chef, okay. and I know this chef's name. I'm not gonna say it right now. But okay. he was do, talking. Do, hold on, do you need another shot? We can make that happen. We, we can bring one okay, up. Okay. It, he was talking like really disrespectful, and then um, I seen him in person, and he was just like, "Yo, I rock with you." But I'm like, yo, I just seen your comment. You was talking mad spicy. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? So that's always Damn, funny to really? me. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. People talk mess, and then you see him. I think we remember before they do. Oh yeah, For I sure. Every, anybody who ever I'm like I, I watch you, you know what I mean. But so it's kind of dope having you on because you know how we talking about like haters and, and and trolls in the comments. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing when when it comes to Yelp. Man, do you Yelp? Like we have a bad experience. I know you Yelp before. No, you, I don't. So Yelp. you never, you never. I don't. Okay, Yelp. but I do have a marketing background. Okay, and you know, like the ones who Yelp are the ones who have bad experience. Yeah, the only Yelps you gonna get. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean? yeah, yeah. I've never Yelped though. I've never Yelped. Uh -uh. Those those uh, Yelps can destroy a business. Yeah, I mean, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. In marketing, like if a, if a like a food business wherever came to us, the first thing we would do besides getting a website together is we would Check get the Yelp business. up. Yeah, the Yelp is huge. That's yeah. huge. Now Yelp, man, you you already know how we feel about you, man. We bring you up every episode, and I'm trying to be cool, man, but. Can you add a block button? I think if they added a block <laughs> button, it'd be straight. Yeah, we could just block people. Because we don't hey. have no power. We just got to take the abuse, bro. They be coming in, oh, man, the chef was was dingy looking. The tacos was bad. I like, <laughs> but I feel like if even if you block somebody, if they really a hater, they're going to just make a new account. I, I, I'm a little concerned, back, though, as God, to, man. like, are, some haters. your Yelp, is it major, it's majority good, I'm hoping, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it, okay. It's, but it's the uh, ones. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the ones that, like, drop a, just a mean argument, like, yeah, like, I tell people like this: my good yelps are my sales. You yeah, nah, absolutely. My bad yelps are bad yelps. I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if a person gonna come in here four times a month and spend three or four hundred dollars on dinner, mm -hmm. that's my good yelp. Yeah, the person that has a bad experience, they are gonna go online and roast me. Yeah, so it's just like a, a, a lose lose basically. I mean, you can't really win when it comes to yelp. 
And I think people are starting to really like open their eyes to Yelp that I'd rather just take a risk and try it. Mm. You know, like people can, some of the worst reviewed movies are my favorite movies. And yes, they all low budget Tubi movies, but <laughs> they, some of the, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. but is it, is it like the, with the Yelp thing? Cause me, when I go to Yelp, I just look at the stars. Like, so I don't like necessarily read the comments. Three. Yeah, I might not you see be... a one place with like three stars. You're like, eh. yeah, mm -hmm. the, that's like the you know you go to a spot. It's like do we got an A or F or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like that's kind of how I look at it for sure. Yeah. yeah. So how the yeah. Yelp star system works? Like if you have a bad review, it's one star. Mm -hmm. Now we're on a Yelp campaign because a lot of people like restaurants pay for Yelp. There's, yeah. There's so if you have like the gold package, they you can erase bad yelps or filter it yes. when the good ones pop it's up. Payola. Yes, wow. yes, yes. So a lot of people don't know that, shit. so we're bringing awareness to it. Dollar so, dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, we want to go to war with yelp. Talks. When you get hungry, bro, what are the, some of the go-to spots you like to go to, like your main oh, spots? Man, um, I'm a, I, I, yo, I like ambiance a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm big on ambiance. I'm not uh, I'm not the most like, I, I don't eat for pleasure. Mm -hmm. I eat to, to eat. Mm -hmm. Um, Joey, number one, 100%. Mm. Joey. I done been to Joey's a couple times. Um, just like multiple consecutive days in a row. And I'll go on like, you know. Dang, okay. A couple, you know, years you ago. You never get tired yeah. of it. No, I never get tired never. of it. Get that blackened chicken, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Uh, or a nice salad. Um, or they, uh, what is it? The, the uh, shrimp ravioli that they got. Okay. I love it to die for. But I I'll say Joey, I love... Tao, I love Madeira's, which is like a nice little. Tires, right? I'll consider like a little hood spot for me. Um, those are probably my top three. I had to give you. I love Bacari and Silver Lake. They got amazing um, Brussels sprouts. Mm. I'm not a Brussels sprout guy, but they Brussels mm. sprouts are fire. Um, I try to give you another one. Um, and then the AC Lounge um, in, at the top of the Moxie. Amazing, oh, okay. Okay. yeah, amazing. Those are my top like little five spots, and I I beat the hell out of those spots. Meaning I go cons cons uh -huh. consecutively. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? I know people' names. Yeah, you know what? That's good that I'm hearing that for somebody because, man, we had regulars that came to the restaurant every day, and like I'm not I'm not turning down no business, but I always want to be like, yo, why do you come every day? Yeah, what bro. is it about the restaurant that could make you go three times, even three or four times a week? Like, what is it? Like, yeah. walk walk us through, to, like walk us yeah. through. Yeah. So so for me personally, like I said, I love a nice ambiance. Like I like to be able to go specifically, you know, I, just to be a dreamer. I'm a huge dreamer. So if I could pull up in a nice car, mm -hmm. you know, valet my whip, mm -hmm. I got a pretty woman with, beside me. We come in. I'm, I'm going to speak for Joey specifically. I'm an advocate for Joey's. Mm -hmm. um, Shout not, out to I'm trying, Joey's. I'm mm -hmm. trying to buy y'all one day or something <laughs> like that. Um, yeah. But um, pull up, they come out, they got a nice complimentary champagne for you. It's just real player. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's how, like, it just feels successful. It feels, it feels, it feels sexy. You know what right, I mean? Right. And so, that is just super cool. I, I love the hospitality part of of the restaurant business okay. and like that experience. I love experiences. I think that that's huge. So that's I love uh, somewhere you just love to be. Yeah, when I go to yeah. Joey's, yeah, you, turn it, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like my water can't hit past yeah. forty uh, percent. They right. like you know, Mr. Jones, here yeah. you are. It's like thank you. You know what I mean. And then we yeah, continue talking to yeah. whether it's a lady or business. Like I love that. Mm -hmm. um, when I go to Joey's, I hope it's a wait because I know I'm getting the champagne. Man. Yeah. No, yeah. they've been doing Pop some stuff out. lately where they like, I have to ask for the champagne. I don't like that. Oh, they don't have oh, it out okay. in the thing anymore? Like the little bowl and mm -hmm. the glass? The last couple yeah. times they I had to ask, like, yo, what's, okay. up, with the, what's up with the yeah, champagne? Yeah, they usually do have it right there. As soon as you walk in, right? Yeah, they usually yeah, they have, the, have it. Like, oh, Woolen Hills? Always got it. Yeah. Downtown LA? Slacking. Like, they let you come in with a glass yeah. of champagne. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Joey's, man. Yeah, Them, so um, Joey's fire. The, the cauliflower, the Korean cauliflower. Tacos? Oh, my God. Is it tacos? No, the appetizer, nah, appetizer is like tacos, rice just, fried cauliflower. They have the, the pot the Thai, is fire. The Thai chicken tacos is what they have. Yeah, I've had yeah, those. Those right. are fire. Those are fire. Yeah. I've had a lot of their menu, actually. Like, I love Joey's. Okay. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, honestly, I want to open up a restaurant called Scott's just because of Joey's. Hey. Like, 100%. Like, that's how inspired I was by that restaurant. So. All right, let me ask you this now. Since you said you want to <laughs> open up a restaurant called Scott's. Yeah. Where is the man that's supposedly not from L.A. put in the restaurant? <sighs> Damn, that's a great great question where would you put the first location because you know the first location for a lot of restaurant owners is is dear to their heart that's why like a lot of people yeah. i mean you use know gardena for example that's, a lot of like mr fries man gardena oh my yep. burger gardena like where's your first one i was born in inglewood 
Inglewood is on the come up. I think Inglewood is probably gonna be that next little fancy little spot. I'm gonna mm-hmm. have to go Inglewood. Okay, I'll put it in Inglewood. Scott's Inglewood. Yeah, so I got a nice yeah. ring to it. Hell yeah, yeah. Nice I can, I can picture it. it, man. Like when you mapping out your trip to LA, <laughs> uh-huh. hit up SoFi, hit up Scott's. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. might hide the champagne. Just ask them. Hundred percent. But like, I am heavily like one of the entrepreneurs I look up to is David Grutman. Is it Grutman or Grutman? I don't know. Mm, but he's that. huge in Miami in the hospitality space. He owns Live Miami. He owns Komodo he owns all these different restaurants um and so you know once this media side is all said and done and we we kind of take it to the next level yeah I'm highly interested in like experiences and hospitality uh, yeah. in LA um I think that's gonna be a good little you know money venture yeah, for us and just you know life did you ever think about like cooking as far as like you know getting putting the apron on being a chef like has that has that crossed no. your mind once no no no, 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 no. so you I, can't can you cook at all no I, I, I'm not a bad cook. I cook some eggs. Uh, you know what I mean? That don't count. Breakfast. breakfast that, yeah, that's that's easy. Um, yeah. But I'll say this. I won't say I can't cook. I've never, like, actually put the time in to, like, try and cook something yeah, like a, like, above a basic like a meal. meal. Like a, yeah, I keep it a buck. I ain't never uh, tried to, like, go and cook something above a basic meal ever. So you well, basically you just, telling me he ain't never cooked for a date before, huh? You always no, went out to a restaurant? No, 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 always go out. Yeah, or order some food. Yeah, Or they'll cook for me. Yeah. No, nah, mm-hmm. we want we want to ask you, man. We, we, we want to. We, we, hey, we personal chef's the best. Yeah, he's, let me a, say. he's a really good person. So chef. you know how player it is to be a personal chef. Like Bro, that's a huge uh, up in your game. Like it, it ain't all what it seems, man. Because when I get home, I don't want to cook. Man. <laughs> that's true. I don't want to cook. Shout out to hey, DoorDash. That's, but that's. Like- <laughs> So I gotta shout them out. That you come doing a clutch. Fire, so you telling me? You telling me? Yeah. You got a, a, your chefing skills are that great, and you ain't ever like that's a that's, you winning. No, that's, a, that's a lot of chefs, though, bro. You abusing yeah, your that's skill a lot of chefs, set, Scotty. So when you when you cooking all day, yeah. and then when you go home, all you want to do is no just, break it down for him. It ain't just cooking all day. So standing man. up for sixteen hours, true. Dealing with hundreds of tickets. Dealing with people calling out sick. Dealing with. You know, Couple like the, the drug episode. Yeah. Shout out to James. Yeah, you know a lot of drug usage in the kitchen, which yeah. means your staff disappears doing drugs here and there. Um, you don't want to. It's like we develop anxiety when it comes to cooking. Like yeah. I gotta be in the mood. I gotta be like my mind gotta be good for me to really want to cook at yeah, home. As soon as you walk through that door, you gonna be like, Phew. yeah, I, man. I understand Angel. it. I do get it. I get that, but. I don't know if I got that skill, so I'm using it to my advantage to court nah, to court you. somebody I mean, or on a day off. On a day, that's what I'm saying. On a day off, you could. Oh, day off, hell yeah, no, yeah, he don't yeah. care about none of that. Uh, I don't know. Me personally, I, on the days off, I go in my kitchen. I'm like, shh, 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 yeah, be whipping, whipping it up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, even just for myself, I'd be like, man, I gotta treat myself. I gotta do yeah. it because like, okay, even though I, you cook I, so okay, much okay. during like, cooking is my whole life. Yeah, you know what I mean. I've been cooking since I was like five years old, grilling. You yeah. know, I got they got pictures of me like, like what made shorter you? than the grill, like. What China. made you want to get into cooking? Like what? My whole family, man. They, they cook. They cook. Dope. Yeah, my grandma, my grandpa, my dad, my mom, my sisters, everybody. My, you know, my great grandparents. They ran a, a lot of uh, little pop ups. You know, mm-hmm. they they did like pop up stuff. They sell like tacos. They sold hot dogs on like Santa Monica. They did a lot of things. You know, did a lot of things for Hermosa Beach as well. But like cooking, man, it's just always been there. Like I don't know what it is. It's, yeah. I'd be in the kitchen. I'd be like interested in my grandpa cooking. Like he cooking. Enchiladas Are you cooking And this is the first time I'm hearing about this This is a podcast exclusive John's hey. opening up You know I told you hey, be the best yeah, one I'm bringing man. out of him Straight up Hey but nah man Cooking cooking is just You know You always need food oh, we gotta, yeah. You, gotta, you always gotta eat Right yeah. And it, In and order to live You gotta think, eat think, When you think to yourself It's like Am I gonna I wanna, I wanna eat good But yeah You know like Cooking man Just like When you wake up You know First thing on my mind Is like man Should I, should I make like a smoothie Should I make yeah. Some hard food Like eggs you know, toast, sausage, like a heavy meal. But then there's days where I like, I just want to do a little bit because I got a long day ahead of me. So mm-hmm. I got to keep my keep myself light. You know what I mean? When you eat a heavy meal, you want to just chill. You want to like relax. You're like, all right, I feel good. Like, So I'm not, like I said, I've never like cooked like a, uh, I cook very basic things mm-hmm. just to feed myself, right? Breakfast, you know, I might warm Easy. something up or something like that. If I wanted to like really take it to the next level, what Maybe let's say top three dishes could I start with just to mm. really improve my skill set? I'm gonna tell you right now, I, th- I get this question a lot. You wanna do something fancy, something impressive, something yeah. easy? Risotto. Do risotto? Any type of risotto. That's like a pasta, right? Risotto is like, a, it's like, like rice. a rice. It's like, like a rice. rice. It is part oh, now. I'm way off. A boreal rice is part of the pasta family, but it is okay. technically a rice. Thank you for saving it's, me. It's, yeah, really, yeah. it's Thank not you really like me. a grain. It is, it's kind of like a grain, but it's kind of has like a pasty, pasta y. 
Like, yeah, you watch Hell's texture. Kitchen before, right? Gordon yeah, Ramsay, yeah, yeah. that's like one of the biggest, you can't cook risotto. risotto. Yeah. He's always throwing it around, going crazy. I it's, made some fire risottos yeah, with this guy. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, risotto's another one. I, I Like any pasta, do always start off with pasta. pasta, pasta yeah. And it's easy. a sauce. Yeah. Practice your sauce. Okay. Sauces. White sauce, right? Not red. Any sauce. Yeah. Dang, I don't look red. We'll go white. They do vodka white sauces. sauces, white sauces. You know what better get, man? I think uh, Suburban LA and Chef's Table podcast need to do live. We'll go live together and we'll, we'll cook with Scotty on live. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey, I yeah. got it. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm big on bigging up the team. Jamil, we was on the way here. He was like, "Yo, we gotta get him." So up that alley, like we—that's something we yeah. have to do. Yeah, we, that was gonna be yeah. off-camera conversation, yeah. but I would, we would live, love to live, do that. Live cooking with we Scotty. We would love yeah. to do yeah. that. Yeah, we would okay. love to do that. Hundred so percent. Give yeah. you a list of what you need to go get. Yeah, go yeah. Get I might burn out. the kitchen down, but you know, <laughs> you good, we got, got insurance. Yeah. We'll be good. Yeah, 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 we'll be good. See on the live, like struggling though. We'll be all right. Hey, by, the, uh, by the way, um, I said I don't like cooking, and you went into this whole backstory about how you're passionate cooking, uh, making yeah, me feel some type of way. So you uh, get you getting blocked. <laughs> I didn't like that. Yeah, Scotty didn't put me on the blocking game, so you getting you getting I'm blocked. And I'm gonna I'm block you right now. Hold on, on my phone. You. I'm gonna do it right, right now. now, live on the podcast. He getting bro, blocked, bro. We need to get back to blocking, but I'm trying to tell you, knowing that you have like. The dominant news source of LA, it's like you get no more LA news. Mm -hmm. Block. I love it. I mean, yeah. We ain't got to go back to it, but I, I no, love well, it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll move forward. All right. You need a block button like that, like just connect it to your phone. Eh. And be like, eh, block. Yeah, straight up. All right. Let's get into this topic now. Uh oh. What's uh What's this beef you got going on? I'm seeing all over the news. I'm seeing over uh, TMZ, CNN. Your beef with Roscoe's chicken and waffles. What's Ooh. going on with that? Yo, they changed the Obama special, bro. They changed it. Not only did we, yo. What camera? Roscoe's. Y'all changed? <laughs> Not only did y'all change the Obama special, they made it like 20 bucks, bro. It used to be like, what, 10 bucks? 9.99? Yeah. Oh, Why would man. you? Inflation. I understand inflation, bro, but it's, they, a, what is it, a waffle and three wings or something like that? Two waffles? You don't do that. You don't change your name. And then I DM'd them, yeah. and they were like, oh, we just wanted to go back to basics, which was a good answer. Mm. But Obama was the first and last black president. Right. We're going to have to show that man some respect. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't I don't like prices that. On him. I don't like that. Hell no. We had I don't like that. I agree. We, we had you group, can maybe change yeah. the prices. Don't change the name. Don't do okay. that. I'm, and now that you said that, yeah, because I had let it go. Have you been there since they changed it? Absolutely not. I'm not. I, we, mm. we are boycotting Roscoe's okay. until they change the name back. Let's start a this hashtag. This is a new narrative. Yeah, it's a new hashtag. Okay. Start and now he said that. Yeah, I'm finna go hard. Okay. I'm going to actually post the post. Go hard tomorrow. right now because I'm like, you know, we're making a reel out of this one. So yeah, go hard. Yeah, yeah Roscoe's. Yeah. We are no longer doing Roscoe's ever again until mm -hmm. y'all change back the Obama special. Matter of fact, the Scotty special. The Scotty special. The Scotty okay. special. Okay. Yes. Wait, now let me ask you a question. Are the wings from LA? The Scotty special? Yes, the wings okay, are from okay. LA. Okay, so yeah, the homegrown wings are from in LA. LA. Okay, yeah, homegrown yeah, in LA. Absolutely. Because I could see the comments. Man, that chicken ain't from LA. That chicken absolutely. from the IE. Absolutely. I could just see it now. Hey, yo, that felt targeted. Why you say the IE? That felt targeted. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. Scotty, yo, go, hey, hold on. I Scotty, go, Scotty. <laughs> don't go and look at December 12th's comment oh, section when I said Scotty's from the IE. Bro, from the Don't do that, Scotty. Yo, I'll go live. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, can you grab my phone and delete all this IE comments real quick? Yeah, yeah. Yo. I never knew I was going to be face to face with this dude. I got to take it Yo, back, man. I'm hey. like, Scotty from IE, man. Bro, it be, nice kid. He from the IE. It'd be crazy because I'll go live and they'll be like, the insides of houses yeah. don't look like that in LA. You in the IE. Yeah. It's like, yo, how do y'all know what y'all going off the house? It's crazy, bro. They really be on my head. Sick. Um, But no, I'm dead serious. Roscoe's. I don't mm -hmm. like that they changed though, but I don't like that. I'm not here for that. I mean, I, I don't even know why they changed it. Why would they? Want they just to, said back to why. basics. What does yeah. that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. When we had Chef Journey Rain on here from Grits and Waffles, shout out to Grits and Waffles. Mm -hmm. She actually was okay with this. She was like, man, I don't need to know these people's names. I just want good food. Yeah. But turns out she said the food was bad. How do you feel no, about overall Roscoe's Chicken Roscoe's? Waffles if you had it's to not grade the, it? It's not the same. It, what, do I have a, a scale? Like, like one to ten? Or what do you want me to? How you, you want do it? one to ten. And then and then you can go even like dive a little deeper. Pause <laughs> about like just the restaurant in general. Um, Listen, bro. And I don't want to get on here and just bash business. No, no, no. We but, just bashing no business. Yeah. But you know what I mean. You yelping right now? I'm okay. I'm, <laughs> at Scotty, I'm leaving a comment right now. Listen, no. All jokes aside, listen. After, well, you know, unfortunately, after the PNB Rock situation, yeah. that was very unfortunate. Yeah, R.I.P. But even before rock. that, the food was like on a steady decline at Roscoe's. I remember at one point I felt like it was fire. You know what I mean? But now. As of recently, you got lazy. 
Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think that they got lazy. Was it after the pandemic you noticed a difference? Not before. It was before? Pandemic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Roscoe's hasn't mm-hmm. been, a, at least for me, Roscoe's yeah, hasn't, uh, yeah. I speak for all of LA. How about that? Yeah. It hasn't you, been a staple. LA, it hasn't yeah. been a staple, like, in terms of how it's hitting and quality for a cool, cool minute. I don't know why. I don't know if they changed, like, ownership or what, but. I mean, there was at one point where, like, all I heard was just Roscoe's. Like, oh, where are we going? Yeah, it was a yeah, thing. Yeah, you would yeah, come yeah. and you Remember Roscoe. the Welcome to Atlanta remix? Noob said we yeah. come to LA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you Roscoe's. gotta go to Roscoe's. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. proud of the Roscoe situation at all. Like, I don't like what they got going on in terms of the food. I haven't been, like, at all. Man, I won't, that's I, everywhere. When I was in New York um, for a show, I met somebody and uh, we were talking about LA and he was like, man, Roscoe's wasn't what I thought. I, the Waffle Houses in the South are better. Man. So uh, that's, that's what I, that's what who I Who said that? That was a dude in LA. I mean, I'm sorry, a dude in New York. Dude in New York tripping. Yeah. <laughs> I went to school in Atlanta. I went to Morehouse. Waffle House, Waffle House is good actually. It's just um, dirty. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just dirty. <laughs> Waffle House is just dirty. But it, it ain't better than Roscoe's. I'm not going to say it. I can't sit here and say that. Man, but for real? Yeah. Man, I remember when I went to um not prom, homecoming. When I was in high school, we went. It was like two a.m. We went to Roscoe's after bus and smacking. Mm-hmm. But now it's just you know soggy waffles and it's just not hit. Greasy bro. chicken. It's just not hit. Yeah, yeah. I like greasy chicken, John. Chill. But I mean, like you know, when it's when it's too greasy, when that crispiness ain't there no more. You know, I don't know because you know I love some Louisiana. You know what I mean? That's the oh, home yeah, of, home of the grease yeah, bag. Yeah, you know, yeah, you got yeah. that greasy brown bag. Uh-huh. So the grease, you know, that, that grease hit. You know, uh-huh. you like that. You like that. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Roscoe's right now. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm All right. Well, you know what? Speaking we love of, to buy them though. If we could buy them and revamp. Oh, he he just yeah. buying everything, huh? You want to buy the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, listen, listen. You already trying to sell we'll, it. We'll talk to Window. Window's okay. over there. We'll okay. talk to him. We'll, okay. we'll see what we can do. I don't yeah. know. It's yeah. just, what's the ROI? We got to yeah. talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, we'll John, talk. John, John, you over here messing up the intro. You bringing down the, what, what the, we'll what the podcast we'll is worth, man. We'll talk. Hey. Yo, Jamil, grab a notebook, Window. We'll, we'll okay. see what's going hey. on. We need some ROI, though. All right, let's jump into it. So I want to ask you some questions. I know, I know I keep saying I want to ask you questions. He get nervous. Like he's scratching his head. You said I just, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh my God. I'm going to give you guys a you visual. If, you, if you're on Spotify, Apple Music, any of those platforms, I, you know, he's he's getting nervous right now because we kind of interrogating him. We want to just uh, talk about some of your favorite restaurants, but what we're going to do is we're going to make you choose. One stays, one is gone forever. Ooh, you ready? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. And then you got to give a, a, a reason why one is staying, okay? Okay. All right. So which one stays? Between the two, and which one is gone forever? We're going to say Tao or Joey in downtown LA. No, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, no, he, we got to. You can't do that. We got to. He'd be doing the hardest ones. You hey, can't pause, do that. man. Pause. What's wrong with you today, man? Pause. <laughs> John, Yo, man. you be preparing the food? <laughs> Talking like that? Pause, man. Wait, those are hey, my top two, gang. Okay, gotta pick one, one gotta go one forever. Gotta, one gotta go yeah, forever. forever. Hey, we talking about overall experience, uh-huh. food, valet, everything. And if you ever eaten dinner, all the mir- all the memories that you eating there is gone too. I'm gonna sound like such a hypocrite. I just did all this bigging up Joey's right. and, yeah, and yeah. Scotts and da 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 da. Towels is a is a vibe though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Joey. Oh, okay. You ever had a Tao Tini? Tao, yeah. <laughs> Come on, gang. Well, Listen, Joey, I love you. Joey got to go. I'm okay. sticking with Tao mm-hmm. because, like I said, I'm an ambiance guy. You mm-hmm. walk into Tao. Man, it's amazing. That is just an unbelievable mm-hmm. experience. You know what I mean? It's like it, it, food is a big part of it, but mm-hmm. just the seating, right. the, the the people, the, the music, yeah. the branding. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so important for me as a marketer. And so I'm going to have to go with Tao. Okay. Joy, I love you, but I got to go with Tao. See, now, Joey, I think you would have stayed if y'all wasn't hiding the free champagne from Scotty. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, Tao. Yeah. Ta- Quit I hiding mean, the champagne, man. Hey. I think that was the difference right <laughs> yeah. there. He thought about it. He said, no, they hiding that I champagne. I ain't never seen him do that, though. You never seen him hide the champagne? Yeah. You're not going to hide champagne from somebody you don't that comes go four enough. times That's, a week? I, yeah, I go, yeah, I go a lot. Yeah. 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 Hide it, man. Scotty coming here, man. He's not even from here, man. Hide it. Mm-hmm. Next one. Uh, City Club LA. Ooh. Or the Damn. Moxie AC Lounge. Ooh. You be throwing them out there. Damn. <laughs> it's crazy because he asked me this, like, like you know, my t- my favorite restaurants. I didn't yeah. know he was going to pin them against mm-hmm. me, though. Oh, yeah. I set oh, yeah. him up. I yeah, set him up. Did. I definitely set him up. Okay. So, so we going Moxie versus 
um, what is it? City what Club? City Club, LA, yeah. All right, I'm going to tell you why I love both of them. So the Moxie contains level eight, which is by, y'all know by this point, if you made it this far, you know I'm in love with the hospitality space, and that's what we're taking over mm-hmm. when we're done be- building this media. So um, <clears throat> the Moxie contains level eight, which was built and collaborated on by the Houston Brothers, which own Houston Hospitality. They have eight levels eight floors at the moxie and there are different restaurants on each one an amazing experience right amazing experience on each level crazy he's definitely in marketing Mm -hmm. versus (laughs) city club which was a club founded by a black uh, i want to say mayor in los angeles years ago sat on 55th floor of um the city bank Mm-hmm. Um, building in Los Angeles, a bunch of black lawyers, black accountants, guys in real estate, amazing for connections, right? Mm-hmm. Amazing for connections. So shout out to them. Um, one has to go forever. I'm going to have to go with the Moxie because the Houston brothers are white Damn. and the you know um, City Club is by black people. So I got to go with my people on that one. But the Moxie is a great experience, and you can't take nothing away from what those men are doing. Okay, hey. but if you like, if you want to get ahead in LA, mm-hmm. and I and I'm I, this mean this sincerely, if you want to get ahead in LA, you want to make connections, you go to City Club LA, and I and I I think that that membership is worth it a hundred percent. Yeah, because the connections out of there, just just purely on the connections. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, hundred percent. That's big boy level right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. both great, it's great establishments though. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope that I don't mess up my relationship with the Houston brothers. No, 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 no. You know, man, hey, love, I'm a bridge burner. Hey, so know, at the end of the day, okay. listen. Nah, we'll, we'll do, we'll blow your face out like old school. Yeah, yeah, we'll blow your face out. yeah, yeah. This guy's got a great memory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's, I do. You're, yes, you're I good do. at creating narratives. You're going to go far. Great memory, yes. You're going to go far. And to that, I'm, I'm going to take the shot. Go ahead, take the shot. Go ahead, go ahead. Go for it. Last one. We're going to do the Castaway at Burbank or the Bacara at Silver Lake. Ooh. Damn. Bakari versus Silver Lake. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Bakari Silver Lake versus... versus the Castaway Burbank. Castaway Burbank. Mm. Castaway could go away. I'm going to go Bakari okay. Silver Lake. Yeah, because he did that one quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we just posted... Uh... <laughs> you see the setup? You see the setup? <laughs> yeah, the setup is crazy. Damn. We just posted Bakari Silver Lake, one of Yo, my favorite places. Too dirty, bro. But this... <laughs> listen, listen. Suburban LA is a media company that's built to push people forward through culture. So Los Angeles being the first culture that we're pushing people forward through, eventually we'll start branching off to other cities and other cultures and yada 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 but we're on la so we posted bakari silver lake the other day somebody dm me i don't know if this is true or not but they were like yo the owners are completely racist da, da, da. but the people do it all the time mm-hmm. but i looked it up you know there were some rumblings like that and so with that being said i do love bakari but i might have to change my thing to castaway burbank Okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go cast I'm gonna go castaway. Castaway meaning castaway stays, we're mm-hmm. gonna send Bakari oh. away. Just because of the allegations. Right. You gotta keep your name clean. Okay. Yeah. Keep your name clean. I respect that. Respect keep your name clean. Okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your name clean. Yeah. You see you see how fake I am. I'll switch real quick. <laughs> just, no, I'm very yeah, nimble. Uh checking out your page, man. You know, I did I do a lot of research on the guests before they come on. That's why I set you up with those questions. Cause <clears> I, I did see that you posted that. I gotta ask, who came? Because this is brilliant. First of all, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Um, in fact, me and my wife do it. We be watching something. Be like, hey, what part of LA is he from? Yeah. Who came up with that? I gotta know. Um, I did. Okay. <laughs> I came up this with dude, it. Scotty yeah, yeah, is yeah, a yeah, genius. Yeah, yeah. Scotty, you a genius, bro. You a genius, man. You know, I'm good at creating like you narratives are. and like. Bro, I've been so suburban was the first ever essence of suburban was in 2012. I was 16 years old. Okay, I'm 27. So that was. I took a lot of shots mad years yeah, ago yeah, right yeah mad so I've been mad doing this a very <laughs> mad years ago mad years is 10 you know, plus <laughs> um, I've been doing this a very long time like a very very long time and so you know I kind of just know what I know the audience so well that I know what'll stick um, and so I'll come up with like little concepts like that one and we try things all the time but that one stuck I don't know why why do you think that that's stuck let me ask you that you know what man like why is that genius it's genius. It is, but it's, why? It's genius to me because it just reminds me of like how big LA is and like how everybody is different from different yeah, parts. Yeah. 
The funniest one I saw was Sexy Red, boy. I saw mm-hmm. so many people said Watts. Mm-hmm. And when you really think, this is no diss to Watts, shout out to Watts. But like people, like cities it's have true. certain types type of, of people. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Yeah. Carson. Yeah. Boy, do they hate Carson. <laughs> Anytime you post somebody like a Michael B. Jordan yeah. or somebody who's just kind of like a douchebag or F boy, they go straight to Carson. Carson, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That's why it's so genius because you making people tap into each city and realize that like each city has a certain type of people. Mm-hmm. Because like if, for example, like when me, like I said, me and my wife do it. If I say anybody, like anybody who's in the media for some out, out of pocket, and I say Gardena, she said, "Oh no, he, he ain't from Gardena. You mm-hmm. tripping? Don't mm-hmm. say that." Yeah, but like you know, like Torrance too. That's another city boy. They anybody that's weird, they say it's Torrance. Terrence. They say or, Torrance. You know, yeah. Ooh, Long Beach. Yeah, a lot of. W- hey. Yo, I get a lot of flack for talking Reggie. crap about Long Beach. Like some of y'all, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, I'm talking. Hey. I will not say names, but like blue check rappers, and y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> I'm posting this clip. Mm. Uh, y'all know who y'all are. They'll be in my in my DMs like, yo, I'm talking with my Long Beach. When I see you, it's up. Da da da. Like for people of Long Beach, go hard. But yeah. Long uh, Beach yeah. has to admit, y'all have a weird city. Like it's yeah, a weird city. Yeah, yeah, it is. But. <laughs> it's different. It's different. It's weird. It's just, okay. It's weird. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, weird. It's but that's hey, okay. You know what I'm saying? Though, like bro. I have weird things about me. I think like I'm very blunt and open. Like let's call a spade a spade. You know what I mean? It's fine yeah. to be purple haired, hoop ear or whatever the gauges. Like that's <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. That's your thing. Anyways, to take it back, the thing that's cool about the where would they be from is because now you take a sexy red and you're like, she's from Watts. And then everybody mm. from Watts has a hard time accepting that. And then it becomes a thing where it's like, she ain't from but Watts. But everybody else is she like, oh, yeah, she is. But oh, everybody yeah, else knows. Yeah, yeah. And so it, be- it creates that banter, which is why it um it works so well. But, um, yeah, man, we've, just tr- we've always just tried to do different things that can take from the outside LA culture, bring it in and then make it LA culture somehow. Mm-hmm. And then most importantly, create a conversation around that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and one of those, that post is actually a really good, um, I love it. I look forward to him. Like, yeah. uh, did you do Diddy? Jamil, can we get Diddy up right now? That is actually, <laughs> this we is, might get in trouble for that though. Hey, I don't no, know. No, though. no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to do that tonight. Let me tell We're you doing something. that tonight. That's genius. That's how you know, that's I look, genius. I look forward to it That's because genius. I've been waiting for Diddy so I can put oh Carson. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm typing Carson, Carson. right away. Oh my god! That uh, no, no, no. is so. Can we let's get crazy. a podcast exclusive? I'm saying where he's from before it's up. I'm saying Diddy is from uh, is from like the Westchester area or Carson. That's what I'm gonna say. Westchester area, Carson. That's that's what I'm. Where saying. would Diddy be from? Let's get let's get Scotty's answer too. <sighs> what part of LA would Diddy be from? It's only right to go Long Beach. Okay. You gotta go Long Damn, Beach. It's a little like you know, like look, freak parties and nice ditty. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we 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 a little I mean Well, you know what, Scotty? I'm 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 glad we on this topic because we got a we got a game for you. Let's play. Okay? We're gonna twist your game up. Let's go. Okay. And uh we're gonna do that version of where they're from, but uh we're gonna use some chefs. So everybody we're gonna show you are either chefs or mm-hmm. they own a restaurant in LA. Okay? okay. All right. So like I said, I'm a fan mm-hmm. of that uh where are they from. So we created our very own. So if you take a picture of this, look at the screen right here. Guy Fury. <laughs> Guy Fury. Where would he yes, be from? Yes, yes. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. We so we're gonna get there. So it's two parts. So you we're gonna ask you where was he where would he be from? Yes. And where should he put his restaurant to be successful? Okay, Ooh. so we're going to start off with Guy Fury from the Food Network. Damn. Shout out to Guy's Grocery Games. Catch me on there three times. <laughs> Where would he be from? Definitely, definitely hey. bumping him at Venice Beach, 100%. I can see that. You know Venice what I'm saying? Beach, definitely bumping Venice Beach. Okay. With, the gla- oh, no. with that fit, that's <laughs> Venice Beach for sure. Fire. Um, Where could he put his restaurant? Mm. If he wants to get to the bag, where should he put his restaurant? Like what city would just guy? Because you know the face is important of the restaurant. Yeah, so mm-hmm. where, where could he put that restaurant yeah. in LA? I'm gonna give him. Listen, I I don't have a reason why. I'm gonna mm. give him Beverly Hills. I don't know why. Okay, but that's what my spirit mm-hmm. is telling me. Okay. I'm gonna give him Beverly Hills. But he's def that's definitely Venice Beach. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna change the picture because it's kind of creepy. He just he, look he, like he, he like going too hard. Yeah, he looked like John at the club last night. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and same color. Not even. Okay, next one. Next one. <laughs> Everybody knows this, the infamous Gordon Ramsay. Bloody Gordon bastard. Ramsey. Can't yeah. cook risotto, Wellington. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Ramsay. Where would he be from in LA? <clears throat> Gordon Ramsay, um, he's like a Malibu kid, maybe like um 
Maybe Maybe not even Malibu. I won't even go that far. I'm going to give him like Woodland Hills, Northridge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't see that. Woodland Hills. Probably went to like, you know, daddy went to UCLA Uh type of thing. I can see that for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, And I would give him, you know, somewhere in that USC area. Give him a little restaurant over there. Okay. Let's build him up. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. I can see that. I like Woodland Hills. Yeah, 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 for sure. I was thinking more Santa Monica, but I like Woodland Hills. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Santa Pause, pause. I heard that's a big one. We just had to pull you, pause Yo. you right there, okay? Yo. Chill, Scotty. Chill. Yo, pause. Yes, yes, yes. Pause. He looked me in my eyes and said, that's a big one. Yo. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. let that one slide. Okay. But nothing. All right. Donald Glover. Yeah, he owns a tea place. Actually, you know what? Boba. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I, that's oh. that, I didn't know mm-hmm. until I saw Suburban LA Eats, right? Uh, so oh, man I'm glad you said this I love this guy uh-huh. listen okay I, I do my research man I do my listen, research suburban is in a state of growth we're getting ready to this year really supersede the growth that we had this year and we really I want to take it to a place that we're going to get ready to franchise and get, go to other cities so we had a page called grub good LA which was specifically LA foods uh-huh. as of maybe like nine o'clock this morning we've mm-hmm. changed it to suburban eats and so it's going to be a Suburban's food page, which won't be strictly L.A. Okay. It'll be food Just around the anywhere, culture, yeah. period. Okay. But to that point, yes, Suburban Eats, which is our food page, did just post um, Donald Glover's new boba spot, which is in Silver Lake. Um, and I'll be completely honest with you. I would have never known that if I didn't look at your page. And that's why I say mm. he is L.A. Yeah. Now he is L.A. food. Eats. Yeah. So shout out to Suburban LA Eats, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah make yeah, sure yeah. you guys follow that. <laughs> Again, all these disc- all these uh Instagrams will be in the description of all the videos. So you guys Absolutely. can make sure you follow those Absolutely. and we'll tag them. And let me yeah. let me tell you about I have to not Suburban LA Eats, but Suburban Eats. Oh, Suburban Eats. So, okay. Yeah. So okay. to say, I'm gonna say it a m- million times throughout the podcast, but Suburban is about pushing people forward through culture. Mm-hmm. Right? So Suburban LA is pushing people forward through LA culture. Mm. Right? Subur- we have Suburban Wifey, which I know, is yeah. Suburban pushing wifey. people pushing people forward through women and pop culture mm-hmm. right and then suburban eats which is pushing people forward through food and drink culture Damn. so uh, suburban la is about la but the overall brand is about people bridging that gap and getting ahead um yeah. you know just because everyone on our team and just everyone in general like i look at myself as a person who can take my family to the next level yeah mm-hmm. and i think a lot of people in different cities can relate to that and so we want to kind of Take that same message and people like us and put it everywhere. So hey, this yeah. this interview is gonna do fifty k. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. do fifty k. Yeah, can I get a hundred? Can, can I get a hundred? Can I get a hundred? Now, listen, right, yeah. now the, the 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 pitch right there for that overall brand of everything. Yeah. Somebody gonna hear that. Somebody gonna hit you yeah. up. That's that's genius. I gotta yeah. give you credit to that, man. I appreciate that. All right, let's get back to the game though. He's trying to get out of the game. Uh, yeah. Donald he's, Glover, he's aka Childish Gambino. <laughs> now, before you say where he's from, <laughs> keep in mind that musty video he did with no shoes on. Uh, Ooh, where is he from? No. Should have gave him. I'm goodness. saying Carson. Oh, I'm saying Carson. Everybody. Donald Glover. Where is he from? <laughs> yes. I'm going to. Jason Cash, I love you, brother. He ain't gonna like this. He from Carson. This is a Carson man right here. <laughs> that man is from Carson. I so I used to be a mailman for what th- two years? I was man, a mailman what, what in did Carson. You do? My, yo. Okay, we can talk about that yeah. another day. No, it's fine. We gonna, yeah, we gonna know. My brother, huh. my brother, I'm the Dos Equis, man. Okay, I do okay. it all. You yeah. know what I mean? I do it all. Dos Equis. Uh. Um, I'm gonna go Carson, and I'm gonna say he should open his restaurant in Koreatown. Oh, Damn. okay, okay, yes. okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I like Even though he like opened that, it in yeah, silver, like, like he should have went Koreatown. Yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah. go crazy for Bobo, man. Yeah, yeah I know. C- crazy on, for Bobo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, next one. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Now, <laughs> what you laughing? Is he that funny? <laughs> this is why I said I'm never taking him to a comedy show. Dude is laughing bro, at a oh picture of Kevin Hart. What kind of suit is that, bro? Man, man, hold on. Don't, listen, hey, there. hold on. Listen, I'm a Kevin Hart fan <laughs> because of his work at the John So Chill. I love Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has a vegan, 100% vegan restaurant in LA called Hart House. Check them out. Follow them. Hart House. Looks, food looks bomb. Uh, they got the shakes. Everything is vegan. Do they got now, the, the peach cobbler shake? Hey, I had the peach cobbler shake, but we'll talk more about that later. Oh, um, I talk about peach cobbler every damn episode. They have a peach cobbler? So, funny enough, I just went to Hart House today. Oh, you okay. know what I mean? Shout out to the Burger Guys. There's a food truck, vegan food truck called Burger Guys. I had one of their double cheeseburgers. Mm-hmm. To die for. And to plant based, right? Yes. Crazy. I would throw yeah, my mother based. off of a bridge for that burger. It's wow. a great burger. 
amazing. And it got me on this like vegan burger wave. And so I went to Heart House today and we got um, an Oreo shake, which tastes like a granola bar, just straight up. It just tastes like a granola bar. Mm. Um, but the burger was fantastic. The burger's yeah. actually, like a- absolutely fantastic. The bun makes a burger to me. They, they got some good, yeah. Mm. Did you like the bun? The bun was good. Okay. I, I'm going to be honest What would you, you say is, is what made it? Like I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna it's not meat I don't know what it is I I like the meat though but so I took a couple bites and I yeah. ended up taking the part the bun by itself yeah. which oh, is delicious tried it, tried then I ate yeah, the meat yeah, by yeah. itself yeah 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 pause yeah. pause that's a great pause, restaurant pause. and I, this dude Scotty's out of control I ate the meat by itself pause <laughs> hey <laughs> sorry Scotty that's my last one I just can't let you the hey, v, the viewers hey, are waiting for it man it hey, I'm off cover I'm you on are, top of it man I, I mean, told y'all this gonna be the best yeah, episode yeah, man yeah. I can't let certain things go <laughs> <laughs> I ate the meat by itself I gotta pause that one man the pause squad yeah. I did eat the meat by itself pause okay. yeah, pause, <laughs> pause. Yeah. I ate the meat by so itself where's Kev- okay so where's Kevin Hart from Kevin Hart is mm. from mm. Jesus Christ where's this guy from I gotta look I was gonna say some more and say look him in his eyes uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart is from I'm gonna give him like that Westchester area I'm okay. gonna give him that Westchester area yeah and I, true true to his his style I think like that Hollywood area is I where he, you know I think he did it right he I opened agree. it in the right spot I yeah agree. absolutely absolutely actually I'm gonna take it he's from Ladera okay I like take that it I like that. he's from Ladera I like that better last one he's one of my favorite actors Robert De Niro, <clears throat> man, mm, one of my mm, favorite movies. Mm, mm, Casino, mm, he got a bunch of them, but I, I love Robert De Niro. Yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah, um, I somewhere. just, uh, you know, I didn't know he was a co-owner of Nobu. I had no idea. He's a co-owner of wow. Nobu. Yes, that's wow. why he's up here. So again, everybody on the screen is in the restaurant industry now. Where is the famous mobster, badass Robert De Niro from? Where is he from in LA? I'm gonna give him a. Where is he and his black wife from? He got a black wife. Yeah. Damn. All right, Robert. Okay. <laughs> see, now, All now, right. Now, now, now the city's changed. Oh, the city's changed. The city's changed. Now. The city has city's immediately changed. changed. That's no, what I put out there. I'm going to give him, um, let's go Burbank. Let's go Burbank. Okay. I like Burbank mm-hmm. on him. I like Burbank okay. on him. Um, And then as far as his restaurant, where's Nobu? Nobu is, they got two. Malibu. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to give him Malibu. I'm going to also double down and give him Burbank. Yeah. Okay. I think he's born in Burbank, raised in Burbank. He's one of those, yeah. Restaurant Big Berg, in okay. Burbank. Absolutely. Big Burbank follow. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So, you know, you're a big. I think we're under. We, we've we agreed that you're a foodie. You know food. You know yeah. ambiance. You know restaurants. Um, You said a lot of good. Now, let's talk about the bad. You had to have a bad experience at some point. You know, it can't always be good. Yeah. Um, What's a what's a time that it was just horrible to, to the point where you're like, man, I ain't never coming back here? Oh, shoot. Um... Contrary to what we talked about earlier, when I chose this location, um, I probably have to give it to Castaway. Okay. You know, they, they, so, you know, I took my girl out um, on her birthday, which they knew it was her birthday, Castaway. Because they um, always ask when you make the reservation. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we pulled up, you know what I'm saying? You put up in the bands. You know, feeling like I told you, y'all know how I get. <laughs> I like to, nice whip, yes. pretty woman, good ambiance. That's all yes. I care about. You know what I mean? But then Castaway showed me that's not all I care about. Because when I came, mm-hmm. it was a little colder, you know what I mean, during this during this night. But we asked for a heater numerous times. We couldn't get a heater. Um, they took forever with our food. You know what I mean? Um, I think we might have waited maybe like 30, 35 minutes to get our food. Or just even for somebody to come mm-hmm. kind of like welcome us. Yeah. And so for that's me. That's a long time to be greeted. That, yeah, that's a long yeah, time yeah. to get food, greeted. Right? Food, you know I mean? if you go Friday, Saturday, that's okay. But to be greeted and drinks, that's a long no, time. No, not yeah, when yeah. I walk in. When Scotty walk in, I need <laughs> you know, right away. You know what I mean? We got to, hey, listen, listen, listen. Your reputation is on the line. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I didn't have a favorable experience today, especially because I was dealing with somebody's birthday. You know what I mean? And I feel mm. like, you know, I don't own a restaurant, but I am heavily inspired by the hospitality space. And I think a big part of that is customer service. You know Absolutely, what I mean? Like yeah. I've went through the ranks. I've been in customer service my whole life, whether I was a mailman, whether I sold shoes, whether I was a salesman uh, for insurance. Like I've done so many different things. And I think a big part of the restaurant business is making sure that people feel special and like that they're the one of one. 
you know, and mm-hmm. I didn't get that experience, especially at like a high price restaurant such as Cash. Yeah, there's Red. no excuse yeah. for that. Yeah, no absolutely. Excuse. You know what I mean? 35 minutes is insane. Yeah. yeah. Um, when we see birthdays on reservations. Those, we usually flag them with colors. Price. Yeah. You guys yeah. get, we treat everybody the same, but you guys get a little splash of special for the birthday. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's unacceptable. Yeah. Now, now listen, because you did say something like, I would never go again. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say I would never go again, but I haven't been. <laughs> and I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, last not this last october but the october before that i haven't i've yet to go um the food was it was cool you know what i mean it wasn't like the best it wasn't the worst it was it was a good food but you match that with the service Mm -hmm. and we got a we got a recipe for like not a good situation especially when it's my girl's birthday that's big you know what i mean does Um, the service mess up the food like let's just say you take for 30 40 minutes before someone even greets you 20 minutes before you get drinks does that put you in a mindset to where you obviously start to look at everything and complain in your head and then the food is bad? Like, of course, because the, the service affects the food. I hear that yeah, a lot. Absolutely. Because I also hear, you know, good service. Food is OK. Absolutely. Service was good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you give me a good waiter who's a tentative uh-huh. and I know we've all had that situation yeah, where like yeah. you sit at the table and you're like, yo. She's dope. I'm yeah, gonna exactly. tip her. Yeah, you know, exactly. we've all done that. We've all done yeah. that. And so I think the service is probably often. I, 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 I'm hesitant to say, but I almost want to say I think the service might be maybe not more important, but just as equal as the food. Yeah. You know what I mean? It like def- it definitely is. We're humans. Like we, we operate off our emotions, and so like you. You call me handsome before you hand me a horrible steak. The mm-hmm. steak just went up two points. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, no doubt, I think that the service yeah. is like the one of the things that you need to focus on. Like, and again, I go to David Grutman, respect to him. I hope he sees this at some point. But no, no water should go under forty percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so minute. That's so specific, yeah. but that's so key. You know what I mean? Where it's just like I put my drink down, and she's like, "More water, yeah, more water." Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, or call me yeah. Mister Jones when I walk in. Uh-huh. Call me by my last name. Like that stuff is super important to me. Um, when you're operating at a high level like that, yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? We're not going to expect that from a low yeah, level. But I, I'm with you. Yeah. High level. Mm-hmm. Take my coat. Tag my coat. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. if you go there often. Yeah. Like. Yeah. No. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like yeah. I, I judge places based off of where they're batting at. So if mm-hmm. you like, you tell me you are a NBA or I'm going to use NBA terms. You tell me you're at an NBA level restaurant, mm-hmm. you know, follow me here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to judge you at that level. You know what I mean? If yeah, I go yeah. to a more hood spot, okay, you know, give me a little hood. Right, right, right. Chairs a little off, whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. But we talking Castaway Burbank. Mm-hmm. I need the, the, the cream that I like cream. You know what right, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Scotty, you know. is Scotty, is Scotty a good tipper? No. <laughs> So, because the reason why I ask is because for some reason, actually, man, I, you know, what's the lowest? Eighteen percent. I go eighteen percent. Okay, I go eighteen. Yeah. But if, if the service is really, really good, listen, guys, stay at eighteen. Listen, guys, okay. listen, listen, guys, listen, guys, uh, listen, guys. I am bootstrapping a media company, so if I ain't got it, I ain't got it. You know what I mean? Mm. But you know, if I got it, I got it. That's okay. how. I okay. Yeah, That's yeah, literally yeah. Just okay. genuinely how I Feel operate. More you know what I mean? The was good. Now like, I. Now I do know, and I do have a a thing because I understand like the tips are big for mm-hmm. wages service, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I will leave something, but I I have times where it's like I'm just in a flow state, and it's mm-hmm. like yo, give them whatever. Yeah, and then sometimes it's like yo, you gonna you gonna take this. Don't get what you get. I'm gonna you, let, you gonna take this five, and you gonna you gonna, <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, you gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you. You gotta be cool with that. I'm just being very frank. Roscoe's, five. you're not getting nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just what it is. Well, now a lot. So celebrities, you ever wonder why you never hear celebrities like Drake or Lil Wayne, you know, get called out for bad tipping? I'm gonna let you know a little secret. Why is that? Uh, like when Drake came to the restaurant. They always have someone else pay for them, so it's never tied to them. So no one can ever say, dang, Drake is a horrible tipper. The check's not in his name. And they usually leave before the bill comes. Damn, so mm. they get it, uh, like they kind of get off the hook. So you need proof. You can't just go online and say, Drake is a bad tipper. You're going to post a screenshot tip. It's not going to say his name. Mm. It's not, yeah. So that's, that's, and then we, you know, most restaurants have a no phone policy, like a restaurant I worked out. Yeah, shout out yeah, to Melissa yeah. in Santa Monica. Lot of, lot of we them. do no phones, absolutely zero phones. Mm-hmm. So, really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so. Yo, I went to, um, nice guy. You can't have no phones. I didn't like that. I don't like the no phone thing. No. I'm not a fan of that. No, mm-hmm. we're in the social media. I don't right. like the phone yeah. thing. You get your food. You want to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the no phone thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and now that we're speaking about it, 
Y'all know, y'all know I'm fraud. I might want to change Castaway and go uh, nice. <laughs> that was a horrible experience. I, listen, listen. I was on my go like. Ahead, go ahead, get it I on, was on. Get it on. Yeah, hey, nice guy. Listen, check this out. I was on my espresso martini wave. I was everywhere I went. I got espresso martini. <laughs> Worst espresso martini I've ever had in my life. And I like espresso martinis. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that. And then we couldn't use my phone. And they took a long time for the service as well. Now that I think about it, it's a couple spots that gave me bad service. Yeah. I'm not going to... Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to people out. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm All trying right. to be on some Keith Lee in LA. If there I you can. go. There you, you know go. what I mean? Okay. We get into our next game right here. Where would you take this person? So go ahead and look at the screen. Oh we got God. SZA. Post... Post or like pre or post surgery? Which one? We'll, we'll it do, depends. We'll do post surgery. Perso- uh, where, post where, surgery? Where are you taking SZA out on a date? What restaurant? And again, you were trying to impress every woman we put on the screen. So where are you taking her? So because I have a Connect That Classic cab, I'm going to call my guy. I'm going to say, yo, I need the whole restaurant shut down. I have that power, by the way. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, ladies. Listen, so we're going to go. I, I, I'm dead ass, by the way. I'm dead ass, by the way. Me and SZA are going to Classic. This is post surgery? Yes. Oh, we're going to Classic Cat. You know, um, I'm going to sit her in the booth because, you know, the booth got the soft yeah. chair. So the soft mm-hmm. chair going, you know, at least it's going to spread the, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we're going to go to Classic Cat. And I'm going to get a nice, like, three, maybe four rounds of just meals. Um, and we're going to have a nice time. You know what I mean? We're going to have a very nice time. We're going to go to Classic Cat. Yeah. Shout out to Classic I love Classic yeah. Cat, by the way. Yeah. We're going to Classic Cat. Listen. Um. I hope Sizzle see this. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Man, for real. Where are you taking Krishan Rock to dinner if you are trying to impress her? Well, I mean the dentist too. But where where are you taking her? Me and Krishan are going to All Flavor No Grease. I'm taking her to a food Ooh. truck. Okay. We're going to a food oh, truck. Hey, shout out to All Flavor No Grease. He's Krish- going. Krishan, gonna... listen, listen, Krishan, listen. Y'all almost got me. We're going to all favor no grease. I can't, okay, even, okay. I can't even give it up. Any, anything else? I was going to go crazy. Else? I can't. Yeah, no, no, no. no. You, you We're going sure? all favor no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Krishan. Because she literally probably will see this. I can't even go crazy. Okay, okay. All right, so shout out to Krishan Rock. Yeah, all favor no grease. Okay, next one. Tyler. Oh, my God. Y'all going crazy. Yeah. Right? I didn't know this part of the show was this part. Yes. Where are you taking her? <laughs> Damn. Um. She got to go somewhere special. Um. I'm gonna take Tyler. What's what's the song she got going right now? Water, Can I, uh, okay, I don't know okay. the words. Oh I just God. know the water part. But it, that's putting me in the mode. That's putting okay. me in the mode. I'm taking her to Level Eight, the Moxie, and we're gonna try all eight restaurants. We're gonna just Ooh. do one bite per meal. I'm gonna spend a lot of money Ooh. that night. We're gonna Dang. we're gonna order a dish. We're gonna do one bite per level. We're gonna order a dish. We're gonna yeah. do one, one bite. bite. And we're going to go to the next level. Okay. And 18% of all the restaurants, or are you showing off and doing Tyler? 20? Tyler? You showing off doing 20%? I'm tipping 150 per. Oh, dang. Okay. 150 per. Okay. That's all eight right. levels. Do the math. There you go. Yes. Yes. Next yes. one. Jaden Alexis, where are you taking her if you're trying to impress her? What restaurant? We're going to Roscoe's. Dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going to this guy, man, Roscoe's, he's dang, okay, and, and that's it. He don't, he don't even have nothing to say after that. Yeah, he's like, okay, Roscoe's, just Roscoe's. Man. Okay, y'all splitting the bill too, huh? Yeah, she coming the whole thing. Oh, okay, but okay. He, he <laughs> next, next, next. next. <laughs> Sexy red, <laughs> Sexy red, Sexy red might not be that hard to impress, but baby. Where are you taking her? Oh, okay. I'm taking Sexy red to Hawkins Burger. Oh, Off that's the a good one. That's a good one. You know what I mean? And I'm not getting out the car. She gonna get out. <laughs> you know, we gonna she gonna bring- we gonna be safe. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna uh. risk no life. We gonna go to Hawkins Burger. You know what I'm saying? And listen, sexy red, holla at me when you come to. I know she was just with YG. Yeah, yeah. check in with the mayor next time you come to the city. Like okay. straight up, we gonna go to Hawkins Burger, get a double bacon burger. Um, we're gonna go straight back to the crib. She might come back for that. We gonna eat good. Yeah. No, she man, yeah. that's a real. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. a real one. She okay. she ain't. You know, okay, big sexy, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, just real quick before we get off this, for Talk the record, where is she from? I just got to know what you think. <laughs> she like Jordan Downs type. Oh, right okay. There. Maybe Watts. Yeah. Okay, Watts okay. Jordan Downs area. Um, okay. She look like one of my cousins, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. She like one of my cousins.
<laughs> crazy. All right, man. It's been a pleasure having you on, man. I, I mean, dude, we got to bring you back on. I say that to everybody, everybody but like, but we really nah, got to bring yeah, you back yeah. on because the way you move content and everything you got going on, bro, your life is just, it's a movie. So we would love an update what's going on with the brand, what you're doing yeah. with uh, Suburban Eats. Yeah. I didn't say Suburban yeah, LA yeah, Eats. That. Suburban Eats. Yep, yep, yep. Follow Suburban Eats. Shout out to them. Um, yeah. You know, I went up to Tilt and you know you, your name rings bells up there apparently so they sent a little gift so my I'm guys, a, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so they yeah, sent the gift for you this is exciting bro, yeah. this is very exciting Man. you guys have no idea I bet literally transparent moment this whole year like I said I'm bootstrapping a company I haven't bought no crazy merch okay. or anything like that I've probably been am I opening this right now yeah go ahead yeah that's uh -huh. for me I have Tilt. been wearing this oh wow Ooh. I got some dunks yeah so yeah, and the purple yeah, joints up Lakers so just put the yellow Ayo. laces and you be straight Ayo, I could get used to this this yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Hey, so you know this what? is hard. Hey. Listen, hey. whenever he needs shoes, he gonna say, "Hey, I'm ready to come back What's on the up? podcast." Oh, I'm back. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I need yeah. a pair of shoes. Listen, <laughs> listen. What y'all doing next Sunday? <laughs> Talk to me. Um, yo, shout out to Tilt. Yeah. Shout out to Trey. I don't know when this is coming out, but their birthday is on December 5th. Um, so happy birthday to, to those brothers. They've been nothing but Trey good, hospitable yeah. for us. You know what I mean? They supported us from day one. So I love those dudes. I love what they do for the community, bro. Affordable I, shoes I, for the community. I love those mm -hmm. dudes. And yeah. as much as I love Cool Kicks. You know what I mean? And their cool kicks is huge. And I love cool kicks. Tilt is black owned. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so I got to ride for my brothers on that one. Mm -hmm. um, so shout out to Tilt, man. Like those dudes, yeah, I can't yeah. express the amount of support. Um, and they then, sponsor the episodes. Though, they sponsor the show quite a bit. So, you know, they, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're yeah. dope. Shout out to Tilt. They're doing big things. And then as far as us coming back, yeah, Suburban would love to come back, but we're going to usher out some more personalities. So hopefully it's not just me. It's, just, it's more of our, our personalities. Yeah, there you go. We would love to come yeah. back, though. Yeah, okay. this is huge. Okay. Hey, it was, a, it was a pleasure having you, man. Yeah, man. I, I hope brother. you enjoyed it, man. It was awesome. We, yeah, man. I, I feel like the viewers are going to kind of, you know, dive in and get to know more about him through this interview because no doubt. there yeah, was a always. lot that you said. And, I mean, this dude's intelligent, man. Just the way mm -hmm. he talks, you know, he, he the way he carries himself, man. This dude got a lot going for him, man. So uh, one of them billionaires out there listening, man, come buy the brand, man. Come do business Sweet. with them, man. Hey, listen, 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 listen. I probably, I don't know if I should say it, but I'm saying, man. listen, I want Russell Westbrook to invest in us so bad. You know what I mean? I don't know why I just like his spirit. So Russell, if you listening, brother, talk to us. You know what I mean? He follows the page. Russell. Oh, he does? Okay. Yeah, he All follows. Right. Okay, he, rocks, yeah. he rocks with us. And he, he shows us mad love, and I appreciate okay. that. But Russell, I would love for you to, to talk to us. And, and if not even invest in us, give us some advisory role type mm -hmm. of thing. I love what Russell Rusbrook is doing for the community. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So I would love to get to to know him on that type of level. So okay. just want to say it on, on y'all platform. Oh, okay. Nobody okay. else. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. tag him in the videos. I'm sure you'll see, you'll see it on your page. You yeah, follow yeah, yeah. You. Okay. 100%. All right, man. Well, shout out to Suburban LA, man. Shout out yeah. to Scotty. Yes. Scotty is right. from LA. Stop asking. Stop asking me Stop that. asking. Yeah. LA. Yeah, man. And it was a pleasure having you, man. So until next time, thank you to the sponsors, Neutral Vodka. Thank you to Tilt for sponsoring. All our listeners, Always. thanks for running the numbers up on YouTube, man. Numbers are crazy, man. I mean, I, I'm, I'm lost now. Up. After in the 40,000s, I'm, I'm just, yeah. No, That's crazy. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. But this one is going to do big numbers. We really going to promote this one and get it out there. And I'm sure with Scotty, here to do some numbers. So mm -hmm. until then, man, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks yeah. for tuning in to the Chef's Table Podcast Uncut. You guys take care. We out.